Jesse was sending to his sons parched corn to give them strength. He had measured out ephod was a measurement. And that measurement means that I'm going to give you something that will help to sustain you that's going to be weighty. The ten loaves is bread that will fill your soul. The bread or the words of the Lord that will fill your soul so that you will be able to have the strength to be able to stand. Now verse 18 was the one that really struck, stuck in my heart. And it says, and carry these ten cheeses unto the captains of their thousands. And look how thy brethren fare and take their pledge. Now listen. Ten cheeses, or ten, means the perfection of divine order of God. In other words, I want you to have a perfection in your spirit before you launch your attack on the devil. Which means that sometimes you're going to have to devote yourself to something that is greater than you. Wisdom. Understanding of wisdom. Receiving instruction and advice to have others pray for you. To receive in humility that which God is going to supply to you through the servants of the Lord and through his people. We're not an island unto ourselves. And this speaks to very much to what we're ingesting into our spirit man. What are you spending your time with? Are you watching too much television? And listening to the ways of the world. Are you accepting the advice of people that are unregenerated in God? Are you taking time to seek out those measures and things from people that don't even have a relationship with the Lord? But yet, you're ingesting these things. Remember, there was a saying many years ago that said that you are what you eat. And spiritually, it is the same. You are what you eat. Now, if you break down cheese, cheese really gives us a great understanding of this particular verse. If you look at what God was saying to the, to, to the, unto the captains of a thousand, God was saying, I know that you all are sitting there fearful, but I want you to gain strength. Proteins comes from cheese. I want you to build up your muscles and your tissues and your immune system. I want your muscles to be active. I want you to progress forward against this devil. I want you to be immune to what he is saying and his size and his weaponry and his taunts and his humiliation, even his defiance of me, God himself. I want you to build up your immune system that you don't even see or realize that something foreign has infiltrated. You already see it, as, see it as being expelled and cast out of the midst of Israel, never to return again. Calcium, I want your inward being to be strong. It builds strong bones and it fights the osteoporosis. I don't want you to be bent down in the spirit, but I want your spirit man to stand up tall and erect. And I want you to know that you're strong in the power and the might of the Lord. I want your inward being so strengthened that nothing foreign can ever infiltrate you and come into your soul. And that you will be strong and mighty. It helps to retain. I don't want you to lose out on what I'm trying to instill in you. I want you to keep it within you. And I want you to understand that you are a mighty army. One can chase a thousand, but two can chase ten thousand. And imagine if you link up and hook up with your brothers, what you're able to do is to keep you in a healthy state spiritually. Because the enemy wants you to be moved out of the healthy state of looking at the situation in a healthy way. Sometimes we can look at things in an ill or perverse way and not understanding fully what God is about to do. It helps us to shed our weight, the weightiness of what the enemy is trying to place upon us. And sometimes many of us are weighted down because of what we see with our natural eyes. But God wants us to shed that weight. God wants us, to, even the iron in the cheese helps us to carry oxygen and store it in our bone marrow, our liver, our spleen, and our muscles. We can't function unless we exhale and breathe. Exhale and inhale. Some of us lose our breath naturally and spiritually. 
and we're not breathing in and out the way that we should because fear has come in. It also has sodium. This is needed for your nerve system and your muscles to work properly. You've got to have the ability to function properly in battle and in warfare. So you must be able to move and duck and dodge when necessary. Those things that the enemy is throwing at you, those arrows that the enemy is throwing at you. Potassium helps to keep your heart so that your heart won't grow faint within you and helps your blood to circulate through your body. God wants your heart to be courageous and strong and pumping properly. You know how we get nervous and, and sometimes we get those palpitations in our heart. You know what I'm talking about. Or our heart skips a beat because we're so nervous. But God wants our hearts to be regulated properly. Vitamin A is involved in immune functions and vision. He wants you to be able to see in the spirit properly. And he wants you to reproduce your faith continuously. Or we could move to a measure of faith, but that faith should be, 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 be reproducing in us all the time. And we, re and we replicate that in others as we communicate and we show them. This also helps us in our communications as well. Vitamin, vitamin B12 to make blood cells and maintain a healthy nervous system. God don't want you to get nervous. He wants you to act like that thing don't even phase me. I'm not getting nervous. I'm not shaking. My hands are steady and I'm going to move on because I know God has the victory for me. Magnesium is, a, is an essential mineral for staying healthy and it repairs more than 300 biochemical reactions in the body. Sometimes some of you, when you fall into a place of fear, your armpits begin, become sweaty. Sometimes your body expels even fluids from it involuntarily. Some of us sweat profusely. Some of us become nervous. But this thing helps us to be able to be able to stand and be healthy. Magnesium even, even includes transmission of nerve impulses and body temperature regulation. And it also helps to serve for detoxification of the body. It also produces the enemy energy, energy that you need to pursue your enemy. And the formation of a healthy of healthy bones and teeth. Because when you pursue your enemy, God wants you to be able to sink your teeth into him this time. All these things were being communicated to the captains of the hopes. Be immune to what's going on. Your muscles will be strong. Stand up strong in the spirit and your inwards will be erected. I want you to retain what God has done and what he will do. You will be healthy. You will not be defeated. You will not be inflicted with any foreign spirit or any foreign things will come into our homeland. Our homeland will remain healthy. Shed off the weight of the heaviness of what the enemy has posed before you. Allow the oxygen in the marrow of your bone, the liver in your spleen to be immediately functioning properly and gain strength as it begins to breathe and breathe seeds in, in and out. Get what God wants you by breathing in and expel out of you what God wants to be expelled. Your nervous system shall work prosperous, properly. Your heart will not faint nor will it fail you. You will be immune. Your vision will be clear. You will reproduce faith and you will be able to communicate it righteously. Your blood and your nervous system will be healthy and will not fail. Your body shall have the proper nervous impulses that when you move forward, you'll be able to react quickly to the enemy. You shall receive the proper energy source. You shall not take in anything that shall cause any harm to come into your body. Your body temperature, you will not get overheated in battle. And you will have the formation of health and strength in your bones and your teeth where you'll be able to sink it into the enemy and destroy him, putting it all together. God wants to bless you to be a mighty warrior. And brothers, fair, how are, the ment how are they mentally and emotionally? And how are they to the worst of service of God into their country? God wants to know how you're faring mentally and emotionally through this time of difficulties. Don't lose heart, friends. But you shall be able to defeat the enemy of your soul. We're not even hardly finished this lesson. But we will either continue this as the Lord leads on this coming Wednesday for Wednesday night time in the Word or on next Sunday. 
But I want you to get the, 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 the jewels from these words. Sometimes some of these things are very practical. And sometimes some of these things are very spiritual in nature. But regardless of whether they're practical or spiritual, we must learn to put the two together. And we must know how to oppose our enemies in strength. And I want you to take the time to write me an email. Just to let me know how these messages are a blessing to you from around the world and even locally. Just on last week, I had a brother in Cameroon, Africa, emailed us to state that he wants this ministry to cover him for a ministry that he has just started. And we are in communication with him to be able to do just that. Because I do believe that that is the will of the Father. We've also been asked to come and preach uh, places overseas, but we're trusting in God, believing him to supply the needs and the timing to be correct. So we do need for you to pray for this ministry, for Faith, Hope, and Love Ministries and Retreat Services International and for myself. And for those of you that are faithfully following us, we thank you in the Lord because we know that you have a home church and yet these messages you find comfort and strength and encouragement in them. To date, we've received hits on our media websites from various places from around the world that have watched these videos. And our intent is to be a blessing to the people of God everywhere, not in lieu of your local church or your fellowships or your congregation. I always close out these broadcasts by saying you need to find a church home where the man or the woman of God can sow and seed into your life. This ministry is not asking you for a penny, a nickel, or a dime. Only thing we ask of you are your prayers, but your tithes and your offerings are for your local assembly. For where the man or woman of God can keep the lights on, the doors open, and be able to labor for the Lord without worry about how this ministry is going to survive. Find those that teach the truth and love the truth and can communicate it effectively into your life. For those of you that aren't saved as we close out this broadcast, I pray that you come to know the power and the might of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because he loves you. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. If you're ready to give your heart to the Lord, pray with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I confess my sins and my faults before you. I recognize that I am a sinner in need of your salvation. I pray that you wash me from all unrighteousness and all iniquities and all things that cause me to be alienated from you. But God, I pray as you wash and cleanse my heart, my life, my soul, my body, that you would make me a son of the kingdom of Jesus Christ. That you would come into my heart and live and abide with me both now and forevermore. And God, may you teach me your ways and give me a love and cause me to receive the baptism in the Holy Ghost and to find out my purpose for your kingdom and for your will. I'm tired of living the way that I'm living and I want to live my life. In the, in the comfort, in the confines of your will. If you pray that prayer, email us at fhlmrs12 at gmail.com. Let us know that you've accepted the Lord into your life and that you love him with all your heart, with all your soul, and all your might. We could give you materials to read and scriptures that you can focus on and show you places where you can go to find out things relevant to your walk with the Lord. We want to thank you for tuning in and trust and pray that the words that have been communicated have been a blessing unto you. Just by way of reminder on Wednesday night is our Wednesday night time in the word broadcast where we will most likely be continuing this message until we finish it and on next Sunday for our Sunday time in the word together. This is Pastor Whitfield saying that I love you with all the love of the Father and I just wish that this word and this ministry will be a tremendous blessing to you and to yours. And until next time, God bless you.